Sikonia Sikonia by Andrea Hosseinovic. I am a white stork. My feathers are white and black. My legs are almost one meter long and my bill is large and reddish. Some people believe that I bring luck and happiness and reportedly I have something to do with the arrival of newborn babies. Storks prefer to build their nests on high places like roofs, posts and chimneys. I do not like snow. During the winter I move to the warm parts of Africa but I always return to my homeland. My home was in Croatia. It is a small country, but a beautiful country, with many green forests, cornfields with a large blue sea and numerous islands. Ten years ago, I used to live on an old factory chimney in a small village surrounded by sunflowers. Every day I would listen to the voices of happy children coming from the nearby school. Listening to them, I learned about the splendor of my country. But one day that wonderful picture disappeared. The school was closed, the sunflowers were run over, the houses were burnt and my chimney was pulled down. I had no home anymore. I did not know what was happening. Somebody mentioned the war, but I did not know the meaning of the word. I left on a search for a new chimney to build my nest on. During my flight I saw forests and villages in flames, kids without parents and destroyed cities down below. I had a tear in my eye, but in the abundance of tears nobody could notice a new one. I flew for days and nights. I wanted to flee somewhere far away. I wanted to find a small and quiet village and listen to the children's happy voices again. It happened in the night. The stars cast light for me to see my way. Very far in the distance, I noticed thousands and thousands of new stars, large and small. As I approached, the lights became bigger. Suddenly, I saw a city with skyscrapers reaching almost to the sky. Tired from my journey, I sat on the top of a skyscraper. Tomorrow, I'll find a tall chimney, I thought. I closed my eyes and fell asleep. Suddenly, a terrible noise woke me. One by one, huge metal birds flew in the sky over my head. I had never seen anything like that. There will be no sleeping here, I thought, and flew away. I chose another skyscraper. Again, it was not easy to fall asleep. Through the many windows, I could hear a lot of noise. Somebody listened to music, someone watched TV, some people quarreled, somebody shouted. Do people ever sleep in the city? I thought. I looked at the moon and the stars in the sky and I remembered my beautiful chimney. The noise stopped. That night I saw the yellow sunflowers in my dream and a scarecrow in the field that could scare not a single bird. A huge orange bowl woke me. The giant sun was rising among the skyscrapers and bathing them in warm colors. The first morning, sounds came from the street. I could hear a loud shouting and a street noise. I looked down from the skyscraper and saw countless cars and crowds of people. This is not a place for me, I said and flew away. I saw a tall chimney. I liked it. It was red and white. Just as I wanted to stop on each stop, a huge cloud of black smoke and soot came out and covered me. I was not a white stork anymore. I was black. Again, I had to continue my journey. 
Now I was flying above the blue sea and above huge ships. Some children waved at me from the ship's deck. I also saw schools of fish wandering happily in the sea. Then I spotted a chimney on a small rock. I was wondering what was the chimney doing there in the middle of the sea. It must have been waiting for me, I thought. I descended. Finally, I will have a little peace and quiet. The only thing one could hear was the sound of waves at the bottom of the cliff. From time to time, a gull would come and look at me in surprise. I must have resembled a very large gull, but nobody asked me anything. I closed my eyes and slept. Suddenly, a very bright light woke me up. My goodness, what's that? I said. I opened my eyes and saw that my chimney was actually not a chimney, but a lighthouse. So I kept flying for ages. I visited many cities, spent some time in each of them, but none of them could I find my lost paradise, the yellow sunflowers and my wonderful chimney. I was so desperate that I decided to go myself to the next zoo. On the way to the zoo, I saw a building painted in bright colors. There was a sign on it that read, The Internet Cafe. There were many children in front of the house, and I thought it was a school. Wishing to hear children's voices once again, I approached the building and entered. Everyone was sitting in front of the big TV screens and typed on keyboards. What a strange school, I said in surprise. On the screen that was in front of a little boy, I saw my own picture. I came closer. The boy was reading about a village in which white storks lived. The name of the village was Sigok in Croatia. It was the first stork village in Europe would you believe that in that village lived more storks than people? I was delighted. I will return to Croatia and find my lost home. I took off, determined to fly until I find the village. On the way, I came across a flock of storks. I asked them where they were heading, and would you believe it, they were heading towards Sigok. There was no war there anymore. I was the happiest stork in the world. We flew for a long time and eventually arrived at our destination. The stork's nests were everywhere. Can you imagine 45 nests inhabited with over 200 storks? For the time being, I moved into an existing nest until I built my own. That night, I slept happily. In my dream, I saw the yellow sunflowers. In the morning when I woke up, I saw the sunflower field. In the middle, there was a scarecrow that did not scare any birds. I heard voices of children going to school. I knew I had found my home again. <laughs>